Hey everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Um, today I'm going to do a video that I've been asked to do and I've not wanted to do because it's really not my strong suit. But because I tend to push Tuner Pro and LS Droid so hard, I actually came out here to do a, a LS Droid video. But uh, I thought, you know what, why not? A lot of people on the Facebook group have like done cleaner versions of a bench harness and shamed me into wanting to do a cleaner version myself. I actually already had all this stuff. I'll link to it down in the description. We'll go over it real quick. Um, these are really easy, and I did not put a lot of thought into mine at first. I actually bought all the stuff to do it and do a nice job. I even have like a little plastic gang box or whatever they're called, like the electrical box to put these switches in um, down in the basement somewhere, or I think I used it for something else. Doesn't really matter. Um, because I twisted it all together and it worked, and I'm like, whoa, I never followed up. So now I'm going to follow up. I came out here to do a LS Droid video, like I said. And uh, it just kind of annoyed me that there was so much wire and I had to put up with some of this crap. So let's go over what you need to do this in, in a decent workmanlike fashion. Um, you need an OBD2 port. These are all the same. That's the point of OBD2 is to standardize. So you can pull this out of a Acura Integra if, if you've used too much nitrous and your manifold. Um, made your floor fall out or anything else under the sun just get an obd2 port this one's actually out of an uh a denali i don't know i pulled it on video i know that um you see there's only four wires going into the thing they're pretty straightforward on the pcm side you need it's easiest to use the blue connector but these things actually pop off so if you have a green or a red or I've seen a clear and I don't know what the deal. I never found out what the deal was with the clear. Anyway, um, you can use them all, but it's easiest to just use the blue connector. It's all you need. You can uh, ID pin this one completely except for what I need. Um, pin one is ground. You can get these pinouts at lt1swap.com if you have to. Mine's all dirty. Pin 19 is pink that's going to be switch 12 volt 20 is orange that's going to be constant 12 volt this purple wire down here which is pin 58 this is your data that's it um all the other wires that are on that connector you can ignore like i said i i depend them but i cut it right once you cut it you can if you have these off the wires push through really easy. You don't have to like pull them back out. Just push them through, get rid of them. Um, I built my wife a Nixie tube clock a few years ago, which are these really neat little things that I had to have imported from Moldova. Um, and I bought this on Amazon and I don't know what it is, but I do know that the specs are that it is a 12 volt adapter that has one amp, okay? Um, it puts out 12 volts in one amp if you use less than an amp you'll have problems a lot of a lot of the problems people have with uh ls droid and tuner pro and the obd link are because they don't have inadequate power supplies is usually what it winds up being traced back to um so an amp an amp and a half two amps i don't know at least an amp though it just so happens i happen to hit the minimum specs um over here, you have the same thing. I've had bench harnesses. I've had OBD2 ports and only have the one ground. And I've had them act kind of flaky, so I use both. Um, you have your data, your purple wire for your data, and your orange wire for a constant 12 volt because your OBD2 port is constantly on. So what I've seen people doing on my Facebook group, which is pretty neat, and I'm going to copy it, is screwing these right to the top so that they have one little compact solution um so i'm going to do that but i'm not going to do it today but there's nothing going on on this complete half of the plug so you can totally i'm just going to take a tech screw and um and then the whole thing can sit like this and you know stick out of the pcm
like so and it'll be nice and clean and tidy and not take up a ton of space um so i've gone over all the wires you see i have a spool of wire here this is some i don't know crap wire doesn't matter because i'm gonna have to run a few jumpers i have two switches because I want to be able to switch the constant 12 volt and the key on 12 volt um, so yeah I got my automatic wire strippers if you don't know about these things they're pretty neat I'm not I'm a mechanical engineer but so I'm sure somebody might come along and tell me why they suck but these are low temp solder and you just use a heat gun I have a heat gun or a hair dryer and they shrink down and solder for you. And I've been using them all over the place with success. I think they're great. Um, so again, what do we got here? We got 12 volt ground, 12 volt switch, 12 volt constant, ground, data. Um, ground, constant, data. I'm gonna strip all these wires and I'll be back to show you how they start to go and how I'm going to use the switches. Okay, so I've cleverly covered this up in Tessa tape so you can't see that I just still twisted it together. Um, the wires coming out of my power supply were stupid, stupid thin. I mean like 50 gauge. So every time I'd get them hot, they'd just melt. Um, so anyway, we have, I use these red wires to thicken them up. Power into this switch, which then the output of that switch feeds this switch and also the two oranges for constant on. Okay, so when we power this on, it powers up. And then when you power this switch on, it'll actually feed power to this final pink for your uh, PCM power. And then the purple goes to the data wire. All your grounds are hooked up that's it you've got a got a bench harness so let me see here here's jules harness our pcm rather of course this took three hours longer than i wanted it to That's how it goes. We'll go over here to LS Droid. Pull this up. Let me make sure I can. We're ready. We're not going to talk about that right now. We'll do a read PCM. 97, we got no Bluetooth. Hold on a moment. Power that on. Our dongle power's on. We select OBD link. Continue. There we go that's it that's how you do a bench harness so i hope that helps you guys out i hope that you all do awesome things with it um i have to poop so there you go now you know something you didn't know before um i hope that helps you guys out thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time on the driveway engineer